guys! Welcome, welcome! We are uh, Dennis and Kimberly. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're back, we're back, we're back. Sorry, we have been... Ow, I'm, my ankle hurts. Uh -oh. um, sorry, we've been a little uh, busy. We've gotten a new show together. It is for the Virtual Summer Reading Program, and that is what we've been working on lately. So, did you miss us? I missed us. We missed you. <laughs> we are back to help uh, to tell you another story and to sign it. Um, and this is going to be the story of Storm Along. That's a long name to fingerspell. S-T-O-R-M-A-L-A. -A. What's next? Long L-O-N-G. <laughs> Did I spell that right? I, th I think you messed I something had, up I there. I don't know. Well, join, jump in here. How do we spell it? S-T-O-R-M-A-L-O-N-G. Sometimes it's very difficult to spell when you're trying to go slow. Yeah. I, I notice that like with calligraphy too, when you're writing letters and you're being very artistic about it. If anybody does calligraphy or you want to try it, sometimes you're like, Wait a minute, now what letter's next? You get so lost in the letter. Anyway, I apologize. Um, so Stormy, again, it is a long name to spell. So we'll, we'll call him Stormy for short, even though he wasn't. And we're gonna give him a name sign. So a name sign is kind of a, a, a unique way of just calling him Stormalong. He's very, very, very tall. So Stormalong is gonna be our name sign for Stormalong. <laughs> All right, um, so. We're going to tell you the story. Okay. Now, when old Stormalong was only 14 years old. 14 years old. He was already five fathoms tall. How big is a fathom? Well, it's about six feet. Ah, so f he was, so basically he's 30 feet. Give or take a yard. Yes. Really big. And he, he got himself a job on a ship. On a ship. And they were sailing along mm -hmm. one day, mm -hmm. when all of a sudden, along came another ship. An so another, another ship. Yes. And the captain yelled out, Pirates! Pirates! I like this sign. That's a fun one to do. You know that one. Pirates. Pirates, yes. yeah. It's like the patch. Pirates. Ah. And uh, so Stormalong said, had an idea. Okay? He said, uh, Captain, can I make a suggestion? And S Captain said, Yes, please, if you have an idea. Please, 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 please. This is please, and this is sorry. Okay, so please help, please. And yes. Stormalong said, recalibrate the flux attenuators. What, you don't know how to sign that? Machines, <laughs> no, no. fix. No, actually, he said. That's wrong. <laughs> actually, Stormalong <laughs> said, he's pain. I just had to throw mean. her a loop there. I had to throw her a loop. Yeah. Um, okay. She said, he said. Uh, Stormalong said. Stormalong said, pour molasses on the deck. So they had these sticky molasses. They had these barrels of molasses. All over the deck. So the, the captain said, huh? And he says, you better do it. Well, hurry, the pirates are closing in. So uh, they poured molasses on the deck. And when the pirates jumped aboard, they became stuck in their tracks. Uh, stuck. Stuck. <laughs> and couldn't move. So the captain said, fine work, fine work. <sighs> Tie them up and haul them off to the brig. Good yeah. job. Tie them up, mm. take them off to jail. Yes. Well, because of his cleverness ah, and <clears throat> Stormalong, yes, because of Stormalong's cleverness and uh, his hard work, he became a captain himself. Yes. So Captain Stormalong. And he had his own ship built. Yes. Whoa, better been a big Oh, it was ship. so big. So how big was it? Well, it was so Actually, big. Actually, the proper way of saying that is, how big was it? <laughs> it was so big that the crew had to use horses to get from one end of the ship to the other. They used horses? They had to, to ride horses. To get from horses. one side to the other. 
It was too yes. far to walk? Yes. <laughs> or they just stick themselves in a cannon and be catapulted <laughs> to the other end, maybe. Could work. Um, and uh, the sail was so big. Sail? Ooh. Yeah. It was so big. How big was it? Well, it had to be stitched together in the desert. <laughs> only flat place big enough. Yes. That's another one of my favorite ones. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See the W's? Wow. <laughs> and the mast was so tall. The mast. So the, there's the ship, there's the sail, the mast is up here. The mast is so tall. <clears throat> How tall was it? Well, it had to be folded down to let the moon pass by. What? <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to go whoop. Whoop. <laughs> now, Stumbelong and his ship were out sailing uh, across the ocean one day. And across the ocean. Yes. Somebody said, Captain, something is hacking at the hull. Something is crunching Where's at the, the hull. The hole is the, the like the bottom of the oh, ship. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's Hacking at the hole. Yeah. Something is crunching at the keel. <laughs> and the keel is also the bottom. What? Uh, They're both down there? Yeah. Well, well, the hole is like the whole the whole uh, shell of the ship, mm -hmm. and the keel is just that part. It's the, the bottom very bottom that, that goes it, like that, like it a razor. Cuts through the water. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So something's attacking. <laughs> yeah. It's attacking the ship. Uh, something is slurping at the sail. I think it's that mythical sea creature, the Kraken. So it's an inventive sea sea creature, sea animal. Yes, and somebody said, "What's a Kraken?" Yeah, what what is a Kraken? Well, it's uh, a mythical sea creature that's uh, half octopus, half sea serpent, and half something else. So what we're doing is we're going to sign Kraken, K-R-A-K-E-N. So this is an octopus, and for Kraken, I'm just going to make that a K, and then it's that's my Kraken sign, the one I invented, mm. and I like it. So there's the Kraken <clears throat> for now. So uh, so the, the Kraken was a mythical sea creature uh, in, I, I think it originated in Scandinavian countries. Like Norway. Norway, Sweden, Denmark, that area. In North um, Sweden. So it, it it it's it's a it's a legendary sea monster, sort of like like sort Loch Ness of, monster. Yeah, it's like it was. It's sort of like the Bigfoot of the ocean, I guess. I don't know, but anyway, uh, um, when it attacked ships, it was very bad news. Yeah. But Stromalong had an idea. He took a uh, the harpoon, the fifty foot harpoon. I'm gonna spell that. Yeah. It's like a big spear. It's 50 feet though. Yeah. And he threw it and it stuck right in the Kraken's neck or whatever it was. And it made the Kraken very mad. Oh. And so he took off swimming away and dragging. I'm still being mad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the Kraken went. And dragging the ship along with it. Right behind it. And it came to a big whirlpool. In the ocean, I think it was the Bermuda Triangle, maybe, and it started going down, 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 and dragging the ship along with it. Oh no! Yes, <laughs> until Stormalong let go of the rope, and the ship shot away like a stone from a slingshot. It's like a pew. And the Kraken went down, 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 and was never heard from again. Not then. The end. Maybe yes. he died. Maybe he mm. swam on. We don't know. Maybe he's going to attack another ship. Maybe, but I think he's, I think he was gone for good then. Well, we haven't heard. Have we heard from him since then? I don't, I don't know. Mm. I don't, probably not. We don't know. But anyway, that's those are just some of the uh, stories about Alfred Bulltop Stormalong. So he's kind of like a, a Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan uh, of the sea, yes. John Henry. Like Paul Bunyan or John Henry or uh, Pecos Bill. Um, Pecos Bill. Yeah. There, there's some several legendary. heroes, uh, larger than life heroes of different occupations. And if you're interested in seeing us act it out and kind of uh, improvise it, we're about to do that. We're going to be showing that over on our Patreon channel. Right now, let's review 
some of the signs that we just learned. Okay, so we have, what's this one? This is an octopus, an octopus. And I put a K on top of it to be the Kraken, Kraken. And we have ocean. So we have water, that's ocean. That's where the story takes place, it's in the ocean. Um, we have a ship or a boat. And if it's a sail, then it's going to have a sail on top there. All right, so we have a sailboat. And he moves along. Um, what other signs did we just do? Uh, moon. We had moon we in there. We had a moon. The moon was in there. There's our moon. It's always in the sky. We um, had horse, horses. Yeah, we did, horses. because the crew rode the horses. Uh, There's a horse. Captain. Captain. All the brass on the shoulder, <clears throat> the shoulder pads. Um, mm, we did storm along. This is a name sign. So you, you, there might see, be other signs for storm along. This is the one I'm using because he's tall. Um, we have... What else did we do? We just did a whole bunch of signs for you guys. Mm, pirate! Oh, right. Do you That's remember a, Pirate? I can't forget that Pirate's one. my favorite. <clears throat> Ready? There we go! Pirate! <laughs> I like pirate. Uh, oh, and what happened when the pirates jumped under the ship? They got... They got stuck. They could not. So this would be moving. They can move. But if you can't move, you, you kind of show that it's not working. Can't really move. Can't move. Can't move or mm, stuck. Stuck. And uh, there was also maple syrup, and I use like sugar, sweet maple, kind of show how it's gooey because he's pouring it all over, pouring it all over. So, hope you learned some signs today. Thank you for joining us, and we will try to be back next week now that we don't have so much going on. <laughs> our show is up and showing at libraries this summer. Make sure uh, or check with your library and see if we are coming to your library this summer coming on their website is how we will be transporting ourselves to libraries this and, summer. And some of these libraries, we do a live session afterwards. Yes, too. yes. So you can ask us questions on their Facebook page about the show and about what you saw. So if you have a chance, make sure you check out um, with your library if they are doing a show this summer with an activated show because we'd be happy to share that with you and hope to see you guys soon. We'll see you next week, I hope. Maybe I'm not going to make any promises anymore. I keep promising that we're going to be back next week and then something happens. We will do our best to bring you another story next week. Stay activated. See you later.